Hello guys, welcome back to TEG. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn basic logic behind an a OR gate, simulate it on every circuit app and after that build the actual circuit on a breadboard using diodes. So without any ado, let's get started. This is the logic symbol of an OR gate. This is its truth table. And this is the circuit. If both the input are 0, A and B, then we'll get 0 at the output. If any, any of the input is 1, then we'll always get 1 at the output. Here you can see for 0, 1, 1, for 1, 0, 1, and for 1, 1, 1. Now the circuit uh, here is made using diodes. So uh, you can say this is DTL circuit. Now these two inputs are connected directly to the positive terminal of both diodes whereas output is taken from here through resistor LED and ground. Now if I give 0 0 as we know uh, in case of a diode if I give 0 to the P terminal of a diode it will act as an open switch and if I give 1 it will act as a short. So when I give 0 0 that means both the diodes are open. If both the diodes are open that means I'll get no voltage here. So for 0 0 I'll get 0 here if I give 0 1 if I give 0 1 that means this diode will act as open but this will act as short so what will happen all the uh, all the logic uh, 1 will go from here through here through resistor through LED and to ground that means I'll get some voltage here that's why I'll get 1 as an output if I give 1 0 same thing will happen for 1 0 this will act as an open but this will act as a short so current will go from here and to the ground. In the case of 1 1, both will act as a short and uh, current will flow from through both the diodes from A and B then to the resistor then to the end to the ground. So that's all. To simulate an OR gate, select two diodes like we selected in the case of an AND gate. Connect them like this. Here connect their end terminal together. Now select a resistor. Select two logics 1 2. Connect one to A terminal, another to B terminal. Select an LED. connect its P terminal to the resistor and N terminal to ground. So this is the whole circuit. Now we can see we have given 00, zero logic to the inputs. Uh, first change the value of resistor to 100 ohm as 1 kilo ohm is a very large. Ok. Now click play. For 00, zero we are getting 0 output. That means for an OR gate 0 plus 0 equals to 0. Now for 0 1, 0 1 we are getting 1 output that means 0 plus 1 1. Let's see for 1 0, 1 0 again we are getting 1. Now for 1 1 again 1, 1 plus 1 1. So this is the complete functioning of an OR gate. You can check this from the to table of an OR gate. Since for this circuit I need 2 diodes, I'll use 2 1 and 4 0 7 diodes. Now your P terminal is the black one. Where is your end terminal is a silver one. So I'll just connect them here like this. Okay. Now the end terminals are connected together. So so I'll just connect them through a short wire. Okay, like this. Now these two terminals should get logic. That means these uh, I should give logic to these two terminals. This upper one is A and this lower one is B. Now I'm using these red color wires to give logic. I'll connect here and here. Okay. So these are this is A and this is B. Now output is taken from uh, this 
to ground that means i'll connect a resistor ahead of an led and then ground the end terminal of the led so but before that i'll connect my power supply here i have 9 volt battery it's positive terminal i'll connect its positive terminal here now i'll connect a 100 ohm resistor ahead of an led and then to ground so as we can see from the circuit the resistor is connected from this terminal that means from this terminal okay i'll connect resistor from here okay so i've connected resistor here from their end terminals now i'll just need an led so that its p terminal is connected to the resistor and end terminal to ground okay now i'll give logic first for zero zero for zero zero i should get zero so i'll connect both this a this a to zero and b logic to also zero so for zero zero i'm getting zero no output if i give zero one that means if i connect a this one to zero uh, and b to one then i sh uh, then i should get one so i'll connect this to one you can see led is on if i connect this one a to one and b to zero i've connected b to zero and i'll connect a to one i'm getting again one output if i connect both to one that means i'll again i'll connect a to one also i'm getting one you can see the circuit again here the p terminal of both the diodes i have given logic different logics this is a terminal this is p terminal and it's uh n terminal they both n terminal are connected together then from uh the n terminal a resistor of 100 ohm is connected to the a positive terminal of the LED and then its negative terminal is directly grounded. That's all.